Hello dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before watching this video, please be seated with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed further. Although you have facing any problem or difficulties, please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you. Now here is the question. In the circuit shown, the current in 3 ohm resistance is. Here we have given the diagram and there are four options. A, 1 ampere. Option B, 1 by 7 ampere. Option C, 5 by 7 ampere. And option D, 15 by 7 ampere. Now, you can see that here all these terminals are earth. It means they are same potential, means zero potential. So we can redraw this circuit. This is 10 volt and this is negative terminal, means low potential. This is 2 ohm. This is also 2 ohm. Here 3 ohm. Again 3 ohm. And all the terminals are earthed. Okay, earth means zero potential. So we have redraw this diagram. Now let us first we have to find out the total amount of current which is flow in this circuit. So let us first we can calculate the effective resistance. This 3 ohm, 3 ohm that is in series. So again redraw this circuit. This is 2 ohm. Here 2 ohm and 3 and 3. Now it becomes 6 ohm. Okay. Now you can see that this 6 ohm and 2 ohm are in parallel. <clears throat> now this 6 and 2 resistance are in parallel. So therefore equivalent resistance 2 into 6, 2 plus 6, 6 to the 12, 6 and 2, 8, 4 to the 8, 4 to the 12, 3 by 2 ohm. That is equivalent resistance. Again, this redraw this uh, diagram that is 10 volt input 2 ohm resistance that is uh, 3 by 2 ohm resistance we have to find out and then total it is in series so therefore 2 3 by 2 how much 2 to the 4 3 7 by 2 ohm resistance okay so here we get equivalent resistance is 7 by 2 ohm and 10 ohm input battery so therefore what is the amount of current then i equal to v by r then uh, that is 10 and uh, 7 by 2 that is i equal to 20 by 7 ampere net current okay now in this question we have to ask amount of current which is flow in this 3 ohm resistance. So by using Kirchhoff's closed loop here total amount of current to which is connected that circuit from which is connected to the battery that is 20 by 7 ampere. So now approaching here at the A junction now it is distributed in two ways. Let us suppose path of AB current flows that is I and remaining current 20 by 7 minus I. Okay. So by using Kirchhoff's closed rule, here amount of AB there is 6 ohm resistance, so multiply by I and against direction of the current we can use here minus and what is the amount of current that is 20 by 7 minus I and what is the resistance that is 2 equal to here in this closed circuit there is no any potential means 0 then 6I minus 2 and 20 that is 40 by 7 minus minus plus and 2i equal to 0. 6 and 2, 8i. And transposing this term, 40 by 7, then i equal to 40 by 7, 1 by 8, 8 ones are 8, 8 fives are 40. Then i equal to 5 by 7 ampere. So let's see here option C. Option C is correct answer. I hope so. You understood this question.
Thank you for staying till the end of this video. Although your success is 100% your hard work, if my videos can help you, then I will consider myself lucky. Then again, remind you, please like, share and subscribe my channel. That can reach more and more students. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.